my biggest current concern is we as conservatives do the most horrific job at uh, reaching out to the black community. It's like, and I mean, you know, it's not only on us, but it's the fact that it's like, when we get called racist, we say, well, our fiscal policy is very yeah, correct. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's exactly. like, it's like I mean, exactly right. it's like instead of calling somebody an asshole for calling you racist or white supremacist, you know, whatever. Um, oh, you're speaking how, my language. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we combat that? Scene? By calling them an asshole. I mean, like, really, that's, that, that is the actual answer. If someone calls you a racist without evidence, this makes them technically, in the dictionary parlance, an asshole. Like, it really, that, and, and it's not appropriate to have a conversation. If someone calls you a racist with no evidence, your proper response should not be, well, that's reasonable, let's have a conversation about this. <laughs> because once you do that, you've acknowledged that the, a reasonable person might think you're a racist, which means you're a racist, right, in the minds of the public. So you actually have to, you actually have to create a basic mutual assured destruction, which is they call you a racist, you say, no, you're just, you're just a jerk, right? And, and then, do you want to actually have a conversation about policy or you want to name throw? Because I think you're ugly also. So how do we, how do, <laughs> so how do, we, re, how do we reach out to the black community? So I mean, I, I, think, I think the way to reach out to the black community is the same way that you reach out to everybody, which is telling them the truth. I think the message to the black community should be, listen, America is not going to get in your way. And as I said before, we will stand with you every step of the way if someone is trying to get in your way, but you have to show me the person trying to get in your way. I think that we should be doing a better job as conservatives of going into, city, into inner cities and saying to kids, here is a, like, I, want to, I actually would like to do this, go into inner cities and set up a scholarship fund and say, if you get these grades, we will pay for your college, and major companies should do this. They should say, we'll pay for your college, you work for the company for four years, and that's the deal that we'll make with you, and so the job is guaranteed coming out. But a social structure has to be achieved, and sometimes that has to be done artificially. Because right now, the biggest problem in, in a lot of the black communities is that there's no real social structure as far as a two-parent family where they're telling the kids, go to school, get an education, and you'll succeed in America. Right now, well over 70% of black kids are born out of wedlock. Very difficult to have a very successful social structure when a lot of the guys that you know have abandoned their kids or are in prison. And that's an individual decision by a lot of bad people making a lot of bad decisions. So, you know, I think that the, the best thing that we as conservatives can do is not lecture to the black community about, you know, all the things that the black community does wrong. But we can say is, look, we can all sit here bitching and moaning about how the United States is a terrible place. And the Democrats will be happy to do that with you all day. They will. They'll be happy to sit here and bitch and moan and then go to Washington, D.C. and do nothing for you. Nothing for you. But if you actually want to succeed, here's how we're going to succeed. We're going to sit down right now, and I'm going to make with you right now, individually, a success plan for you. And if you stick with this plan every step of the way, I guarantee you that by the time you're 25 years old, you won't be living in a hovel. You're going to be living in a nice apartment in a decent area with a job. Mm. I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. It has to be done not on a governmental level, on an individual level. Because here's the thing. We're all either dependent on government or we're dependent on capitalism. And so we have to make people dependent on capitalism again. We have to make people dependent on markets again and on freedom again and not on government again.